lastly, would would you want to see someone then potentially criminalised for wolf whistling from some scaffolding? Just wolf whistling, not sh- not pursuing well, the girl, not not going to touch her chest. I'd really, I'd really hope in the same way that we don't necessarily, if somebody uses a racially abusive term or a religiously abusive term, we don't send them to prison, but we do take action and we do say that that's not okay. What we're just talking about doing is equalising that. So you would record it in the same way that you record racial or religious abuse, but obviously there's a spectrum here. But misogyny is also behind sexual violence against women and murder. But there you go again. There there, there you go again. And and, and quite rightly, of Mm. course I'm not going to... But we've jumped straight from wolf whistling, which I fully accept is not a particularly pleasant... I don't know that we want to live in a country where you get recorded for wolf whistling, but you've done it again, Stella. You've jumped from wolf whistling to murder. So tell me tell me then, Nick, are you happy for 11, say, 12-year-old girls? No, this no. Okay, no. So <laughs> See, you've gone again. There you go it. again. I'm talking about a woman okay. in her 20s or 30s who receives one unwanted wolf whistle, who is distressed by that, and that man, then it becomes okay. a recorded incident. Are you sure? So, so when somebody abuses somebody for their religion... There we go again. ...on the street once... There we go but again. isn't that the same? Now, well, that's what you're saying. That's what I'm. You say it is. I'm simply saying. I'm simply saying. In terms of hate crime, in terms of being able to identify where women are made to feel unwelcome because they receive hostile behaviour on the streets of our country, shouldn't we want to know where that is? 